Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Craft the World. That's right, we are starting a brand new game. It was recommended to me by Bomber Squad 1989. I actually bought the base game, uh, I think Steam said like back in 2014. However, since he recommended it and I wanted to check it out since it's been almost seven years, I went ahead and bought all the DLC here. You can see them on the right and left during the Steam Halloween sale, so we can check that out here together on the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming channel. So let's just go ahead and hop on into a new game and uh, not play around too much, or excuse me, not mess around too much on this screen, because you guys want to see gameplay and not necessarily hear me talk. So we're starting at level one, the land of new hope. It's a small sized forest world with average weather, hills, and easy difficulty. So let's go ahead and hop on in. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the tutorial because I kind of know what's going on. So we'll just click skip and close out of that. And as you can see, we landed here in our new world. We're dwarves fleeing some enemies, and this is where we ended up. And we can go to different worlds and you can see the expanse of what we can explore. We got tree beard over here and looks like some sort of necropolis or abandoned temple that we can go and look at sheep and a warthog little lake big old hill or mountain here with a lot of stone that we'll definitely want to get our hands on and let's head over here here's our portal with our dwarf and i'm just going to go ahead and mark these so he can start to collect that for us let's go check out the right side of the world here oops we completed our first task by cutting down the tree there's grunt shop we can trade there eventually a little little cemetery where some skeletons and zombies will probably spawn from and then the other end of the world with the ocean a sheep and a chicken all right so let's head back over here and see how we're doing we're just going to go ahead and speed up time so obviously we have the surface to explore but eventually we're going to go deep 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 underground you can kind of see it keep scrolling for a little bit and get as many resources out of there as we can as we dig down we'll run into different things as you saw from those dlc that might change or interact with us. It's not just resources down there. There's monsters and temples and things like that. Looks like we got our first little spider attack here and that allowed us to level up and get another dwarf in here. So two dwarves to help us out. Over here's our tech tree and you can see we have the basics from basic woodworking, basic tool making, all the way to the other end of the tech tree down here. We got luxury decorating, master armor, mithril working, master weaponry. So we'll be working our way through all those techs so make sure you guys buckle in and come enjoy that with me. Over here we got our task book. So most of this is like complete our shelter, dig a tunnel. Go ahead and do some research like the basic woodworking. Got our bestiary here of the different animals, wild boar, slug, ghost, giant mites. So that wasn't a spider, that was a mite, huh? It's a little dangerous. Um, some skeletons, the big zombie, things like that. Goblins, skeletons with shields. So we'll have things to fight and protect our little settlement here from. So let's go ahead and start digging down and we'll get some stone over here it looks like. So we can start to craft some new new weapons and instruments or tools for us to, to work with. And we'll go ahead and make some ladders so it's easier for them to climb in and out of. Let's go ahead and make those eight ladders and we finished basic woodworking, very nice. All right, so basic woodworking is done and now we have basic armor to start to craft. We'll bring that down here. Do we have enough to make a trap door or a basic uh, wooden hatch? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and get that. Dug our tunnel. Very nice. We'll put the hatch there. And let's go ahead and select the hatch and plop that. Nope, I don't want that there. I want it. He was jumping over when I tried to place it. All right, we want that there. So let's go ahead and drop our ladders down here. Actually, let's cancel out that ladder. We'll get that stone back there. And we'll mine all that stone there as well. Well, let's see if we can craft them. They should be, well, that's one, two. Okay, we should be able to craft a pickaxe now. Um, so let's go ahead and craft that pickaxe and we'll go ahead and equip that so they can mine a little more efficient with Lisbeth. So she is a hunter and let's see what Nain is. He is a mage. Well, neither of those are exactly useful for us right now, but that's okay. We'll eventually work our way to those skills being extremely useful, I would imagine. Go ahead and put my dirt on my taskbar so I can block that out. And then we can put another ladder on top of that here in a second. Probably going to need to get a torch here soon. Some torches. We'll put them on the left and right side here. Um, and let's just go ahead and drop our dirt there. And are they trapped? I think they just trapped themselves because they knocked out that wall and they can't quite jump up. So let's just dig that out and then we'll put that dirt there. Now they should be able to yep, climb their way out. Perfect. Put another piece of dirt there. And they're gonna come on back down. We'll put some more ladders in here. And I wanna dig that rock out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go back to crafting here. Have we, we have not unlocked basic illumination. What do I need for basic illumination? I need to finish basic tool making. All right, so we should have enough stone. We'll go ahead and craft another pickaxe here. Now let's go ahead and craft two clubs. So we can equip those. We'll put the club there and she's already got a pickaxe. So let's go to Nain here and give him the club and the pickaxe. So they are both kitted out when it comes to that. We'll go ahead and start mining this as well. Still need some dirt here. So, but we'll get that in a moment. I'm thinking, yep, we collected our stone, nice. And we got another dwarf. We could probably start moving tunnels left and right. Uh, maybe like here-ish, get some dirt from that, some dirt over here. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and mine all that out. Oh, we got a Fisher's Book, so we'll eventually use that to level up our, our dwarves. So he's gonna go ahead and start collecting some of that dirt, very nice. Go ahead and select that, and we'll put that there, and there, and there. Yep, we don't need that. And then we can go ahead and drag our tunnel that way as well. Yeah, we'll go, we'll get that stone there too. Uh oh, got some plants growing down there, so we need to get to our illumination here sooner rather than later. Cut all that out, we'll take the leaves though, we'll use those to craft our um, roof here soon. We'll mine that wall out, and we'll put some dirt in there in a second. Beautiful. All right, let's put that there, and then we'll put a ladder on top of that. Getting towards basic illumination. Need him. Oop, we got a big zombie here. Let's go ahead and mark him for combat. And we're going to switch everyone over to combat, so they shall run and help and destroy him. And there he goes. Great. Go back to balance. Oops, we got some skeletons coming this way now. Except they can't click on them. All right, balanced attack. Leveled up. Another dwarf coming in. Fantastic. And we're going to go back to balanced. And we'll go ahead and mine that tree, or excuse me, cut down that tree. I guess we are mining it in a way. All right, how are we doing down here? All right, let's put another ladder in there. Clear him out so we can put a ladder in there as well. I don't know what that is, but let's get rid of that pumpkin thing. Okay, that's good. We'll take those rocks out. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves. Craft ourselves. We'll go ahead and craft two hand axes, there we go. So now we're up in the tech tree, which is unlocked basic illumination, which is what we need to make some torches. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves 40 torches. That's quite a few torches, which finished basic illumination and we'll put that right there. All right, so let's just go ahead and put these torches in place and we'll put some dirt there and there. There we go, that's starting to illuminate very well. One, two, three, and we'll put that as number four. One, two, three, put that there. All right, so this is starting to look pretty good. Put ourselves another ladder here, and then we'll mine. Let's just go ahead and mine like over to here, and then mine to about there and there. There we go, and we'll get some coal here. We need to find some iron ore soon. I see some over here. Is there any over here nearby? Not that I can see, but we'll, we'll find some soon enough. Let's just go ahead and mine all that coal out, and we'll put some torches in. Put one there, that's not quite all the way over yet. Oh, there's some iron ore, good. So we can mine down and get to that here in a few seconds. So as we progress, obviously our technologies will go up, but our enemies will get stronger and stronger. It's not like they'll just stay the same. Go ahead and grab that smithing book as our new dwarf comes in and we'll put a torch right there and we'll put a torch right there. We'll use the space probably as storage or something like that, a swimmer's book. Um, and then we'll build up into the housing for the, the beds and that for our doors. Let's go ahead and mine that out. We'll take that light out for a second so we can get the coal behind it. And then we'll just replace it with dirt here in a second. Put a torch there. That's all illuminated nice and well. All right. He's mining that out. Perfect. So let's put some dirt there and there. And then we'll go ahead and drop a ladder here. And then let's mine this next level. And then... What we can do is let's dig down and then dig over to get this iron ore. Perfect, so we probably should get some more pickaxes made. So let's go back to crafting here. And we already got two, so let's just craft two more. I think that should be enough. All right, so you need a pickaxe and I'll give you a regular old ax. Regular old ax and a pickaxe for you as well. Pickaxe for you, and I think that's everyone. Perfect, all right, so everyone has pickaxes, so they should mine a little more efficiently now. Yep, we collected our coal, good job, team. 
mine out that coal on the back wall there. All right, they're gonna get all that for us. We got a package coming in. Well, golly, what is it, a pumpkin? Uh, I can't quite tell what that is, but they'll come pick it up here in a second. Looks like a rope or something, I can't tell. All right, we got all that cleared out. We'll put the dirt back here. Nope, no, we do wanna mine that out. Got ourselves a coin, that's good. Some more dirt there, mine that out as well. And they can start mining that way and mining that way. Put a block of dirt there, put a ladder there, another block of dirt. Do I need to mine that out? No, so we can go ladder, ladder. And then let's do torch, 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 torch like that. Ooh, good, there's a lot of iron ore down here. So we got some more over here. This looks like this goes a little bit away. Good, good, good. We can go ahead and start mining this out and then we'll replace that with dirt. This over here needs to be replaced with dirt and we'll replace that like that. All right, good, get that iron ore, yeah. All right, we can mine that out. That can be replaced with dirt, perfect. As always guys, don't forget to like the video if you've been enjoying Craft the World content. Let me know if you want me to make more videos. Uh, like I said, usually I plan to do a couple videos for a game, but if you guys don't like it, we'll stop making videos and go on to another game here. Um, comment on down below if you've been in, if there's anything you want me to change about the content, uh, the voiceover, the commentary quality, anything like that. Looks like it's getting dark, so we probably have an attack coming soon. We get a big attack every 50 minutes or so, and you can see this timer here for the next monster wave. Go ahead and chop these trees down. All right, and then let's put a dirt there. And they got all that iron ore for us. Fantastic. Someone just dropped a bunch of resources down the mine shaft, but that's okay. Let's go back to the tech tree here. And let's see. We need to get basic iron working so we can get basic construction and build ourselves a shelter. So they can start mining all that out. We'll get all that as well. So they can mine that way. We'll put another chunk of dirt in there. And then how about a torch here, here. So we're going one, two, three. So one, two, three, it'd actually be right there. See a big zombie working his way. Is that a witch? But they're trapped there, so we'll just leave them there. A spooky tree with an owl on it. Anyone coming from the left? I don't see anyone. Good, we got the iron ore task completed. Some chickens over there. So we'll just leave those guys because they can't quite make it up to attack us, and I'm okay with that. And that spooky tree got a little bigger. So let's go ahead and chop that down. Skeleton coming, or a ghost coming in to mess with our supplies, but they took care of that for us all right let's chop that spooky tree down Oop, piece of wood went falling all the way down but that's okay how are we doing over here we're getting all this iron ore out which is what we need mine that out for us and we'll go ahead and knock that one out and let's put that back in and we'll mine those two out as well all right and close that gap there mine that out all right these guys are doing great level five Chugging right along, that's what we want. And we'll go ahead and put dirt on those three tiles. Mine that back wall out as well. And mine that one out and then we can close that up in a second. And then we can bring this ladder down a little bit to get to this next rung of dirt. They can't quite make it to that, so let's just put in a ladder there. Put a chunk of dirt there, that can be mined out. And let's just go ahead and start by mining there. Actually, no, we don't want to mine that one out just yet because I want to make sure we get that one first. So let's go ahead and cancel all that and we'll make sure they mine that. Put a chunk of dirt there. That ladder's in place, so they should be able to climb up there and get that. There we go. Perfect, that's what we need. And then we'll take that ladder out and replace that dirt. Or replace that iron with dirt. Good. Put the dirt there. And then we can go ahead and put dirt in here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our craft menu here and let's switch over to this. And we'll go ahead and make, let's make two locks because we'll need those for our doors. And we'll make, um, we'll make, let's make some nails. We'll make um, 20 nails. That should finish basic iron working. Perfect. We'll close that out. And then let's make a pot because we'll need that for our cooking station in a little bit. Mine's, or chop some more trees down, not mine. I mean, I guess you are kind of mining them in a way because we'll need that to make our doors and make our walls. So we'll probably put a door here and a door here and then some walls around that. 
So then we can uh, finish our house. Eventually we'll take this hatch out so we can, oh, we got some goblins coming in. So let's go over to attack mode. Get all of our dwarves over here and attack, attack, attack. All right, leveling up. Beautiful, come on guys, focus your concentration on one one goblin. There you go. Yep, don't, don't get killed, dude. Yep, there we go, another goblin down. Only two more left, come on guys, one more goblin. Let's get rid of him. There we go. If we need to trap him in the water, there you go. Beat him up, beat him up. All right, now we're gonna go over here to this camp so they don't come and attack us again, because that's the last thing we want. So they should all go over there. Then we'll need to heal our dwarves up. We'll probably need to build a table or something. Uh, no one can attack goblins with impunity. I warned you for the first and last time. Well, sorry, dude. We're attacking your camp. Probably will spawn more of them, but whatever. There we go. I'm warning you for the very last time. Don't touch the goblins. You regret it. Well, yeah, we did that. So they can go ahead and chop those trees down. Let's get ourselves... Can we make a table yet? All right, let's go ahead and craft the table so I can put some food out for our dwarves so they can replenish themselves. And we'll just pop that right there. So they'll put that in place. And then we need to switch this over to balance. There we go. All right, so now they should go ahead and get back to work for us. And we can get some food out so they can replenish that health and then we'll build ourselves a house here in a second. All right, he's bringing that down. So let's go to food and we'll give them some berries. I think they like berries, right? All right, we'll just put a bunch of berries out for our dwarves to snack on. You can see some of them have taken some damage, but that's okay. Okay, as they finish collecting these trees, let's go check out the wood wall. And let's make... Um, Let's go ahead and start with 45. Oop, that finished basic construction, good. And then we'll make two doors. Ooh, we don't have enough wood for that. So they'll need to collect a little bit more wood. Chop those trees down. We can chop that tree down. Perfect. How are we doing over here? Well, this can stay nice and dark like that for a little bit. All right. Yeah, you finished chopping that tree. We'll get that as well. So let's go back to craft and build one door, build two doors, perfect. So we'll put that there. And then we've got 45 walls. So we'll put that, yep, we already got that on our bar. And we need some roof tiles and let's craft, uh, 21 sounds pretty good. Okay, so we should have plenty of resources to build our house here pretty soon. They're taking that. We'll chop that tree down in a second. Let's go down here and we'll kind of clean up our mine. Let's get this ladder, we'll move that ladder. And we'll, oops, finished another task, cut down 30 trees, mine all this iron out. And then let's put in one, two, three, we'll put a torch here, one, two, three, torch. And that should illuminate our little mine here a little bit better so we're not getting all these creepy crawlies down here. Put a block of dirt there as well, Cl start closing that off. Put a block of dirt there so they don't have to jump over it. Um, it's night again. Do we have any guys coming our way? I don't see any, so that's good. Hopefully they work their way down to the table and get themselves a snack. Plenty of wood over there. Oop, we got a book down here. Let's collect that. Carpenter's book. Mine that iron out back there. All right, we are moving right along. Our Dwarven Empire is growing. Down in the comments, let me know what you think we should call our empire of dwarves. Oops, we got a, a witch or something coming this way. Let's switch back over to combat mode and take care of this witch before she hurts any of our guys and gal dwarves. Um, I don't know what they're doing there, but they're doing their thing. Almost gone, one heart left. There you go, finally. Okay, so let's go back to balance here. Someone was drowning, but I think they're good now. Low health, uh, we got some skeletons coming in. So we'll switch back over to combat, knock out these skeletons. We got a ghosty coming in. Um, the zombie dressed up as a devil. Anyways, um, yeah, we probably should craft some more clubs here soon. Cause well, I guess we're getting pretty close to basic weaponry. Uh, we could, ooh, let's craft some bandages. Let's do that. So let's go, oops, we leveled up, great. Let's go to bandages. Where's the bandages at? Um, here we go, healing bandages. We need some water. Um, so can we gather water from here? We should be able to gather a little water. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. Um, oh, we need a 
bucket first. Okay. So how about in the next episode, guys, we'll go ahead and build our little structure here, our hut, because that's coming time to be due. We're at 27 minutes to our big attack, so we'll want to make sure we get ourselves a nice structure, get some water, build some bandages, heal up our doors, build some beds so they can take a nap. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoying Craft the World with me today, guys. Comment on down below, as always, on audio quality, video quality, commentary quality, anything I can use to improve uh, my overall videos so we can make the best videos for you guys to enjoy. Comment, like I said, also on the name of our Dwarven Empire. Let me know what we should call these young guys and gals. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you want to get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out, and we'll see you in the next Craft the World video.